Josh Heskins, the Jeep and Realtor with Foxfire Elite Marketing. Hope everybody's doing well. I've got a new listing out here on Jarrett Drive. We are in between Spruce Pine and Bakersville, so about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, either way, left or right, whenever you get down to, to the get down to the uh, 226 intersection, you can either go to Bakersville or Spruce Pine. So what we got going on here, we've actually got some paved driveway and about there where my Jeep is, that's the line and then you can see the power line right about there if the line's a little bit up this way so you've got this road frontage up through here and then it kind of cuts up and then it goes behind that house down there and we've got a little over eight and a half acres so let's take a look around so here we are i've got the uh spot on the map but uh after you get up the steep part this levels out this is a real nice laying piece of property right here you'll have to excuse my heavy breathing it took quite a bit to get up here but not bad at all oh. bob and weave bob and weave Oh, this is a this is the top of the ridge right here. And we got a four wheeler trail. We may fall her on the way back, but let me double check and make sure where we're at. So what are we close to? As far as spruce pine goes. We are probably 10 minutes away, maybe a little less. And about the same for Bakersville. Because um, we are right on the edge of Ledger. If you're familiar with, uh, familiar with the area at all. one thing it's a whole lot easier walking on this road than it was coming up the mountain but plenty of uh, flat spaces here for a home site once again over that way is going to be someone else's property so it is looking like this is right on the line of the two properties it looks like it follows the ridge top so the property's going to be <clears throat> property's going to be on this side You would have a very nice view. You could actually cut these trees. I'll have to come back up here and if I've still got it during the after or during the winter months, whenever all the leaves fall, and get some more photos of the view. If it makes it that long. 
Whoa, look at that guy. Man. Let's see, can you see him? Spider webs everywhere. This is a really nice slope. Not bad at all. Would have killer views. Not bad at all. And I think we're still going up in elevation. Well, I know we are, but... <clears throat> Let me check and see where we are on the old map. Give it time to zero in. The red lines are us, so yeah, that four wheeler trail, which is right over through there, that is riding right on the line, so that's good. So, no restrictions on this property. So, if you want to shoot you can shoot you can put a tiny home or do a full-on look at that down through there that is as far as the mountains go you know of course some of it is steep like that but after you get up here man what a beautiful laying piece of property Let's see what we're facing as far as the uh, so your view is going to be northeast, and we are currently just a touch over three thousand feet in elevation. So decent elevation. Check out this little area. Oh, we got a tree stand right there. That somebody's been hunting. They're getting ready to hunt. I guess the owner knows about it. I guess that's where the four wheeler trails are coming from. He's got a camera somewhere. Yep, I guess that's the end of the four wheeler trail. somebody go back down find out exactly where the corner is all right so we're right at the top corner this is going to be the tallest point
point. I'm going to try my autofocus. There we go. So 3150. It's not bad at all. I'm going to follow this four wheeler trail back down. See, I learn, guys, in my other videos. I do learn. Whoa, did you guys see that? You see him? Where's my autofocus? It's a new lens, guys. side or the other but like I said before and keep repeating myself this is pretty much the the line on top of the ridge I'm hoping the image stabilization on this camera is decent but nice nice laying lot up here anyway it was a booger Coming up though. Now this is a really, really good laying land. I mean, you're up on top. You don't have to worry about water from the mountain coming down and worrying about drainage all that much. Just a little bit. Nothing like down at the bottom of the mountain. Somebody's had a fire pit there. Can't remember exactly where I came up at. somebody else's property over there so we're I think I come up right here 
maybe I'm lost. Kinda. all this over in here be a great little place to put a house or a series of houses Is land. I'll take a 360 real quick. He's been up here in a long while on a four-wheeler. I'm just playing it by ear. Do this holding the camera. quick you can get turned around. Do know one thing, this is a GoPro camera setting. I can't use this camera. I'm trying to dodge all these limbs and keep an eye on. You too.
house right there. Back row on the line. So that's good. Yep, here's the spring. Some spring lines right Yeah, you can see how the land lays going up to the top. There's the spring. There's a hose running down to it. There's the overflow. Try to not lose a boot here. here wasn't it can't remember if I got video of it I know I got a picture of it yeah so there's the spring it looks like there's a, another one going up not focusing but come on anyway blue dots where we are so the spring is on the property that's good I don't care to record the way down for you. So I don't have to stop and catch my breath. And we are back down to the bottom. property goes up behind the neighbor's house so if you see this little ribbon I don't know if I'll zoom in I put that orange ribbon on that tree the line goes straight up that way and it cuts over I'd love to find out where that ATV trail went on that other property. But they probably don't want folks 
parking on their property to view this one so it'll have to do a little bit of a climb to get to the easy part And we got road frontage. All this right through here is part of the property. And we'll do a video uh, of what it's like coming and joining uh, 226. But there's your neighbors. Nice, quiet little community. Well, guys, that'll do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy it, thanks for nothing. But uh, if you'd like a personal tour of the property, give me a holler. And if you're working with other real estate agents, uh, that won't be no problem either. I can help them out as well as far as telling them how to get up there to the beauty spot, so to speak. So, yeah, that'll do it for this one. Good Lord willing, I'll see you on the next one.